expressing yourself is the most powerful way to connect with people. Most powerful technique for communication. Stop saying that I can't express. Stop saying that uh, I'm not able to express. I forget, I forget. Stop that saying. This self-talk is harming you. Is this your problem? That I can understand, but I can't express. Does this happen to you that a situation is there when someone is talking to you and you also talk but after that person is gone after the situation is uh, over with then you realize hey, this point i forgot and this usually happens during argument also this may happen in front of your boss also that your boss says that what is this and you say oh i'm sorry but actually it was not your mistake and you had the valid answer for this you had some valid answer, valid support for your mistake or whatever the situation is. But what happens? At that instant, you aren't able to express that. And then when you come outside, when you're calm, oh, I wanted to say something and I, 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 I had planned, I had planned properly, but when I go, I couldn't express. This is a common thing which happens with most of us. Why well, I have taken this topic because as, as I said before, many of my students come and tell me their problems and the same problem was told by one of my students. And he said that this is the problem I have. How to overcome this? So try and understand there is a lot of psychology behind this. A lot of thinking behind this. So if you have the problem, there is something wrong with the way you think. And that is what I'm going to tell you understand very properly very carefully and this mostly happened with english of course this may happen when you're speaking in your mother tongue but here we are connected with communication english so you think that this is because of um, some english problem well that's not the big deal that's not the big deal try to understand first and most important is your psychology and the way you think in these situations you don't know that just imagine you go in front of your boss and now when you go in front of your boss there is something happening inside you there is something happening behind the curtains and you don't know that listen carefully what happens i'll tell you when you go in front of your boss or when you are in a tight situation you can't express yourself a lot of thoughts are there a lot of ideas are there a lot of viewpoints are there it may be in meeting also anywhere but you aren't able to express them and a lot of thoughts are happening and one of the thought is if i want to speak i have to speak everything properly correctly without making any grammatical mistake also or any technical mistake also this thought stops you from expressing yourself you want to express everything correctly properly and perfectly because of this because of this way of thinking you get anxious and when you get anxious, you forget, you can't express what you feel like, what you want to say. Does this happen? Just check it. Because understand, when you are a bit calm and in control, not calm completely. Of course, when you're speaking uh, in a meeting, some amount of nervousness will be there. But when it is too much, what happens is your emotional brain takes over the rational brain. And your rational brain stops thinking. You, you aren't able to express yourself. Like right now, look at me. The way I'm making this video, many of my students have told me that the way you express yourself, it is so nice. And we can relate to this. We can understand this. The reason is, I am not chasing any perfection or I am not worried about expressing myself accurately. No, I'm just natural. And I'm using English as a language to express my feelings. I'm not using English to impress you. As you can see, all my videos, I speak simple English. That's the reason why I can express myself and connect with my students and connect with you. So, the bottom line is, give up that perfection. Give up that 100% uh, deliver a message correctly. No. When you give up that, you give up that perfection. When you give up that perfection, you become calmer. And when you become calmer, when you are yourself, the best out of you comes. Got it? Now, imagination is required when you want to express yourself. If you can imagine in a better way, try to understand. When I speak, when I speak, I put myself in that situation. I put myself in that situation. 
I clearly imagine what is the situation. Imagination is more important because when you are speaking, you imagine and then you speak. But if you aren't able to imagine, you won't be able to express all the details. Let me give you this example. See, just now I was telling you about this problem that is you aren't able to express. And while, while speaking about this, I was imagining that, yes, people go in front of the boss, people uh, while, while talking, they get stuck and while fighting, I mean, argument, they aren't able to recall what they have to say, their argument, because they get, I was imagining all these things, try to understand. I was imagining because I also have gone through this. And most important thing I'll tell you, it doesn't mean that today I'm 100% perfect and I'm able to express myself 100%. It's not like that. No. 90% I express, sometimes I am not able to express. So the bottom line is, I'm able to try to understand. I'm able to imagine the situation. I imagine, oh, so this, 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 this. So when you imagine, you are able to express that. You are able to tell the details properly. So first is calming down your brain. Second is imagination. You should be able to imagine. And the last point, and it's equally important. And the point is, do not use any difficult words. Try to use difficult words, difficult slangs, which you are not familiar with, difficult uh, idioms and all those stuff which uh, you see on YouTube videos, right? Speak in this way, use this word, or uh, use more synonyms, use more antonyms, use more uh, uh, native-like words. So let them come. Let them come if they are coming. But if you try and force them and use them, you will not be comfortable oh, no. with them. And you won't be able to express yourself. Try to understand this. You won't be able to express yourself. So I just know I said that I don't use any or I don't uh, plan and come and think and then uh, use. No, I use all the words which I know, which I'm comfortable using with. So I'm talking to you since last seven to eight minutes. Have I used any difficult word, any jargon, any new word which you aren't able to connect with? No. This is the reason why I'm able to express properly. So while speaking, don't use any difficult jargon words. Use simple words which common people can relate to. And in this way, you will be able to express yourself in a better way. Now, last point. Next time when you go and when you're talking, be aware. This is the last point. Very be aware. Oh, yes. Now this time, I'm going to express myself properly. Whatever the points are, I'm going to express them. I'm going to tell them. And if you don't remember, you can jot them down. But of course, you can't carry them. But try to remember in this way. I have three points to tell. First point is about the project. Second point is uh, about my location. And third point is about my colleague. Yeah, keep this in mind. And when you go in front of your boss, yeah, tell yourself. Okay, so the first point which I want to tell is about project. Second point is about the location where I'm working. Speak about that. Third is about my colleague. My colleague is da-da-da-da-da, whatever it is, right? And once you finish that, yes. Now, it does not mean that you will be able to express yourself after watching this video 100% correctly. No, this may happen that you have improved by 1% or 5%, but that's okay. Next time, be aware. Understand, awareness is more important. Be aware, okay, last time I wasn't able to express. This time I will try. And if I fail, it's okay. Again, next time I will try. This does not mean that I'm a failure or I won't be able to do that. I will be able to. And stop. Another thing is, stop saying that I can't express. Stop saying that uh, I'm not able to express. I forget, I forget. Stop that saying. This self-talk is harming you. What to say? Yeah, I will note down. And I will try to express myself. And I will try to express all my feelings. Cut it. Then see what happens. You will be able to deliver most of the points. Most, not all. Even for this video also. Uh, well, I don't have any notes. I would just, just thought that, okay, this video I should make. I came and I spoke. I expressed my three or two, I think three or four points I expressed. Maybe uh, some aren't expressed. Maybe some are still there. But doesn't matter. 80 to 90% of the points which I wanted to tell, I have expressed. And 
uh, to be very candid with you i don't prepare much for shooting i mean just i just take an idea i just come start the video record it and end it in this way i'm able to express myself in a better way expressing yourself is the most powerful way to connect with people most powerful technique for communication don't keep it with you express them getting it bye bye work on this Thank <music> you.